get the answer for this, OK? Um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, when we're applying long division, um, basically what we're going to do is rewrite this using our division algorithm. So I'm going to write this as x um, minus 3 divides into x cubed minus 3x squared minus 34x plus 48. OK, so now once we have it written into that format, um, x cubed minus 3x squared minus 34 plus 48. Now what we're simply going to do is when we're doing this, we always make sure that's in a descending order. So we want to make sure our dividend is in descending order as well as our divisor, which in this case works. Then I basically take my first term, and that's what I'm going to divide into each one of these terms. So I say x divides into um, x divides into x cubed x squared times. And again, think about it like this, x cubed over x. What's x cubed, guys? x times x times x divided by x just leaves you with x squared, right? Or you could use the rules of exponents to subtract them. So x divides into x cubed x squared times. Then what we do is we multiply the x times x and the x times negative 3. x times x is x squared. x times negative 3x is a negative 3x squared. Where are you confused at? I keep getting confused. So you have to, oh, I'm sorry, that becomes x cubed. You, I'm not starting with x squared on the top. I'm dividing x into x cubed. Again, as I showed you, x divides into x cubed x squared times. Then whatever you get for your quotient, you have to multiply that by every term in your divisor. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times negative 3x is negative 3x squared. Does everybody follow me there? Now, let me explain what we do next. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the rows. x cubed minus x cubed is 0x cubed, which is just 0. Negative 3x squared minus a negative 3x squared is now just going to be a um, positive 0x squared, which is, or 0x squared, which is just 0. So now what I need to do is I need to bring down the next number. So I just bring down a negative 34x plus 48. And again, ladies and gentlemen, we do the same operation. Hmm. So I do x divides into negative 34x how many times? 34 times. Negative 34 times x is a negative 34x. Negative 34 times negative 3 is going to give us um, 30, that would be 68, uh, negative 102. Okay, Then again, I subtract my rows. Okay, Now in this case here, what I have here is negative 34 minus negative 34x is 0x. And then 48 minus 102 is going to be negative 54. Now, what I want you guys to understand here, OK? What I want you guys to understand here is this is our remainder. So since we have a remainder, does this divide into that? No. no. Is this a 0 then? Or is this a factor then? No. no. OK, but that is your final answer. So your final answer is x squared minus 34 plus your remainder, negative 54, is your remainder. Okay? Now, that's it. That's your answer. I mean, 